Hi there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here in Jerusalem. And uh, good news for the Israeli e-commerce fiends of this world. Amazon is has resumed its free a free shipping deal to Israel. Now, I just want to give a little bit of context here because people are going to start talking about Amazon being back in Israel and Amazon's return to Israel and all this kind of stuff. Now, the reality is that Amazon were only gone from Israel for two months, at least over the last few years. Now, let me just explain Amazon and Israel and if you live in Israel what you're where what's going on um, and why I'm kind of skeptical that this deal is going to really stick around but that's just my opinion so Amazon is broken up into different marketplaces now I did work for a few months as a customer service associate CSA with amazon.co.uk via a temping agency it was a uh, temporary job before making Aliyah but it was a bit of fun but Amazon marketplaces work and work quite differently. So you've got amazon.co.uk, amazon.de, amazon.it, amazon.com. Now, from the consumer's perspective, these look like websites, but it goes a bit deeper than that. They've got different resources, different customer support structures, and different, um, as far as I know in all cases, or at least in most cases, logistics networks. And that's referring to the FCs, the fulfillment centers that Amazon uses to uh, warehouse goods, uh, whether they're the products that they are, buying themselves and selling directly or FBA. And uh, they also have um, FCs in Europe. And this offer is being run out of the dot-com marketplace. So that's the first thing that doesn't make a lot of sense to me why Amazon would be doing this because geographically speaking, the US is clearly further from Israel and the Middle East than UK, but that has been the trend. Now the Times of Israel have a good explainer or um, announcement about this and uh, what exactly this offer is. So they just uh, make note of the fact that this is the third deal Amazon been putting on. Apparently there was one in 2018. I must have missed that. Must have missed that one, um, which is over 80 bucks. This was the more famous one, uh, November 2019. It was free shipping over 49 bucks. I was actually quoted in this newspaper, The Times of Israel, because I was so excited about this deal. And then COVID happened and Amazon pulled the plug on the deal. Now there was a lot of speculation that really kind of annoyed me at that point in time uh, from um, Israelis, uh, some people on social media saying, you know, oh, the deal's coming back. The deal's going to, I reached out to Amazon. They did not tell me the deal was coming back. I don't believe there was any evidence that this deal was necessarily planned to come back. And in the, in the guise in which it's come back, I believe there's no, promise again that's going to be kept going for kept going and it's not the same uh it's not the same deal as well so it's a, it's that the threshold is higher it was a previously a 49 dollar and above deal now it's a 65 dollar and above deal now why this matters is that the reason that amazon isn't such a huge thing in israel is because of the fact that firstly from the uk marketplace not a lot of stuff ships here it's getting better i believe uh from what i can see but still it's a limited uh, inventory of stock. Um, secondly, shipping. So it costs money to send stuff to Israel from that network. And therefore it's often the case that, you know, you'd see something like, well, it's a $50 pair of headphones, like these $50 headphones and the shipping is like 40 bucks. And you're kind of like, do I really want to pay almost the price of the goods to get the headphones there? That's just the cost of operating uh, proper shipping methods to Israel. And Amazon have to have to pass it on. Now, um, the second factor is that Israel's VAT, VAT law specifies that you have to pay 17% VAT on products worth over $75 declared value at customs. So if you order monitor speakers, like the speakers on my desk here, those were about $105. So if I ordered that from Amazon, they'd be liable for tax and possibly for other things as well. Therefore, you know, 75 bucks is, you can get some things and that's kind of why AliExpress has become really popular in Israel because it's by and large a cheap marketplace selling cheap products from uh, direct to consumer from Chinese manufacturers and uh, they also offer free shipping and that is subsidized, I believe I've, I've heard at least in part by the Chinese government. So therefore, they're kind of taking advantage of a, of a false, uh, of government sponsored uh, subsidies in order to artificially ship things to Israel that would otherwise be costing money. Now, Amazon have gone the other approach and they put on this deal. So I've just entered into my Amazon, um, into an Amazon account here. I'm just gonna bring that over one sec. 
to show you how to find these things. I've just created a fake address in the account. I called it Daniel's YouTube Palace. Maybe one day I really will have a YouTube Palace. And I've located my YouTube Palace on um, 41 Agrippa Street, which is the location of my former post office in downtown Jerusalem. So this should reflect um, a very a central city center location in the Jerusalem metropolitan area. So if that's where you're buying to, you should be getting most of these things. Let me just show you what you need to do to scoop up, scoop up these deals. So what could we get? Now you have two options here. Firstly, my commentary on this deal is that the threshold is pretty narrow. So the $50 threshold for those looking to stay within the confines of the VAT free limit meant that we had a $25 threshold. So you could buy a few things for 50 bucks and not have to really worry about um, going over. Now there, there is a qualification technically, I believe there is a 72 hour window that, that if you order things that show up to Israel within 72 hours, they'll consider it like one thing. And I've heard stories of people that fell foul of that. So look, 75, 17% VAT's not a crazy amount, but people, I, I do know that a lot of people are very concerned about not accruing that VAT charge. So I just want to, so there's, there's less wiggle room here. So you can either add a few things together that will come to between 65 and $75. That's one approach, or you can buy one item. So I'm just gonna, for the sake of simplicity, show you how to get, show you how to scoop up the deal. So I'm gonna just make myself a little bit smaller here. So you can see there are two, Categories, when, whenever these deals happen, there are two categories of things. One, ship to Israel. See here, ship to Israel, but don't be mistaken. They, may not, they might not be in the deal. You have to click on that button to get the things in the deal. So not everything that ships to Israel is included in their global inventory is part of the deal. It's only certain things. So we have two limitations on what's included here. One, does it ship to Israel in the first place? Two, is it included in the deal? So I'm not trying to knock the deal here. I'm just saying that there are some sort of limitations that sort of qualify a little bit. So you see here at the top, free shipping by Amazon, eligible for free shipping. So click on that. And now we're looking at products that actually are included in the deal. Now, if you want to go with this approach and look for something that is in this area, you can do this. There's a little price filter. You can you can filter by price for between these amounts, or you can just type in amounts in the in the from to box and click go. Now we're only seeing things that are in the category. Now you could tr you could try those. Those are actually supposed to be very good monitor speakers. Um, I wonder if some of this is very deliberate. They they priced this now, reduced it from eighty bucks to within one cent of under seventy five. I mean, theoretically, I think that could, that should get through Israeli customs without VAP, but be a bit hesitant to recommend playing playing with one cent. Um, these were actually the ones I was thinking about getting instead of the Isas, and they want them in black. Ah, I could have got them from Amazon. Um, but let's go. Let's just be a little bit, give ourselves a bit of breathing space and go for these, which are still only one dollar below the limit, but at least we're not arguing over one cent potentially, and they're down from. Um, 100 bucks. So here you have a pair of speakers, no import fees deposit. So let us go and check. Now, item ships to Israel arrive September 19. That's not very quick. Um, let's take a look anyway, and just make sure that we can we can get this deal firstly. Okay, so I've just gotten to the final pre ordering screen here. And um, it looks like I've managed to get the deal. Now I just for the purpose of this demo, I just didn't add my Teodat Zahut national national ID to the system, uh, but you can see it's shipping to my YouTube palace here on 41 Agrippas in center of Jerusalem, and um, it's applied the discount. Now you can see here the shipping cost would have been $31.40, and that $31.40 came off in the free shipping promo. Now look at the arrival date. It is September 19th, and I'm recording this video on the 26th of August. Therefore, one, two, Three, is that? It's a Thursday, the third Sunday in September, and we're the last, yep, three weeks delivery. So now, practically speaking, Amazon things, orders do tend to come a good deal quicker than, uh, than that, but um, it's still not a very fast uh, delivery estimate, given that it is, of course, the pandemic and all that kind of stuff. But 
you can see it's actually not that much quicker than their priority shipping method, which they're charging $40 for. So you can start to see under the typical circumstances why shipping to Israel from Amazon doesn't make a lot of sense because you know, under normal affairs, you'd find yourself wanting to buy $74 speakers, shipping would cost 40 on them. They'd probably, they'd probably not be on discount to be over the limit. So you've got VAT plus shipping that's more than half their cost and it just start, sort of doesn't really make sense. So um, that's basically the deal that's currently on offer. Uh, what do I think about the deal? Well, uh, you know, it's uh, nice that it's back, that there is a deal in place. Um, you know, they're, it's not, they're not offering the, the fastest shipping method on the deal. Um, it is a deal that's being offered from uh, the dot-com marketplace um, at the moment. And therefore, I don't think it's reasonable to assume Am Amazon are going to be able to indefinitely subsidize shipping to Israel. So I would kind of view this more as a marketing promotion intended to uh, keep Israelis, keep Amazon on the minds of people living in Israel that you can get Amazon here. But I think that to for Amazon to sort of uh, really entrench themselves as a viable e-commerce option for Israeli consumers, uh, they're probably going to have to look into different logistics because you know they're not going to indefinitely swallow thirty dollars per order in uh, international freight charges to get products to this relatively small at the end of the day trading geography. Hope that video was interesting. Bottom line: sixty-five dollars and over on qualifying items. You should be able to get those shipped free to Israel for as long as the promo lasts and do of course check that out before relying on anything in this video. Thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe to get more videos from me.